What's up, y'all? This is Fred Hurt, and I'm outside this amazing Sunday. And if you follow me at all on Facebook, you may have seen my uh, most recent post uh, about, you know, a great church service. And there was a, a post that I saw of a, a Facebook friend that made the statement, uh, God, thank you for what I don't have. And I just want to uh, say a little bit more about that. Because that that's a powerful statement. If you, I mean, let, let me start off with this. If you happen to come across this picture and you don't believe in God, I still think you should listen because, it, you know, you might get some out of this. Because, I mean, I don't see why you don't believe him, but I'm not here to force that on you. But if you're here, just continue to watch the video and listen to what I have to say about uh, this topic. And then, uh, and if you just having some trouble in your life or not, or don't think you're happy where you are, I really want you to listen to this. So let's get to the point. Now, she said, God, thank you for what I don't have. First thing, so many people are worried about material things or they want this and they want that, but they're not grateful for what they do have. And you have so much, but you know, it's not wrong to want better or to want more. But don't get consumed with it and don't forget to be thankful for what you already have. Because some people don't have that. And sometimes, or most people that don't have it, they may even be more grateful than you. But, you know, the point is not to really worry about nobody else, but realize you have a lot to be thankful for. Because you could be in a worse situation. Now to the point of what she said, be thankful for what you don't have. I'm that's like so powerful because think about this. No, you know what? I'm going to give you an example of myself. There are some things that I wanted when I, uh, before I got divorced. Yes, I went through a divorce. And if you're going through one, you can make it through it. I mean, I pray that nobody has to, but you know, that's going to happen. And if you're going through it, make sure you're doing everything you can to save it because marriage is worth saving. But I just, you know, I got off on that rant. But it's not everybody can't make it. So my point was in that situation when I was before I got divorced, there are some things that I wanted that if I would have got them and that divorce went through, my life would be I mean, it would be horrible. That's that's just a, a, a personal example. So now think about it with you. A lot of things in life we want and we don't get it. And that is a good thing in a, some situations or probably most situations because you probably weren't ready for it. You know how everybody want to win millions of dollars? If you ain't in the right spot, right mindset, and you win that money, you can destroy your life and many others. Because you know how you see people win millions and then two years later they're broke? They went in the right mindset or right position to really benefit from that and help others. You know, sometimes money can go to your mind. You know, they say a lot of people confuse the love of money and uh, the root of all evil. The real way it goes is, well, actually, a lot of people say that money is the root of all evil, but it really is the love of money. So if you're not ready for something or if you are in a financial situation that you don't like, maybe there's a reason you hadn't gotten what you wanted yet. Maybe there's something else that you need to be thinking about or you need to get right in your life because if you don't get it right and you get it, you might make your life even worse. You know, have you ever thought about everybody saying, OK, financial problems? But have you seen all these celebrities that have the money still not paying bills, still not taking care of their kids, using drugs, going to jail? I mean, Money isn't everything. Money should be a tool that you use to be able to help others and get yourself to a better position. But money don't mean you're going to be happy all the time. If that was the case, the celebrities wouldn't be committing suicide or they wouldn't be doing all this crazy stuff to go to jail. I mean, I just don't understand some of that. I mean, uh, given yeah, everybody can have their bad days. That's That's fine. But sometimes... It just don't make any sense. So the point is, man, you got to be thankful for what you don't have because it's a possibility that your life was saved or made better by you not having it. God was able to stop you from going through something that you would have went through if he would have just gave it to you. 
Now, a lot of people are going to be like, well, I work for what I, yes, you may have to work for it. Now, watch this. You know, a lot of my videos be about business. I'm not even putting a link at the bottom of this video about my business. But think about this. Those people that want to win the lottery and make uh, get their money, maybe God is showing you a way that if you go in business for yourself or if you start your own business with a friend or company, I mean, there may be better ways to get to what you want that at the moment you're not willing to do. But that might be the way that God is trying to steer you to. Instead of trying to gamble your money and lose money to win, maybe he's trying to show you learn a skill, get in a business, maybe even get a better job, go back to school. I mean, whatever fits you. Because I can tell you what I feel and don't feel about college or school or, you know, this, that and the other. But the person that needs to be happy is you and your family. And if that means you getting a better job, hey, that's fine. But think about it. You need to thank God for what you don't have. Like I can say that. I, I, that was just one example for me as far as a situation that if I would have got some things that I wanted, I would have been in a worse situation. And a lot of times that's the case for you. So be thankful for what you don't have because you may be opening up the door to learning to be able to understand how to get what you want it better or it may be something out there better for you than what you already want it and you know i mean i'm not gonna keep going on because i mean i hope you got the point so really thank god for everything he has done is going to do and even for the things that you don't have because that's probably a blessing in disguise you probably hadn't ever thought about it as a blessing but that's probably what it was. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I'll see you later.